The Agnes Greenway is a new 1.2 kilometer greenway along Agnes Street to support walking, wheeling, and cycling. The city has been planning the Agnes Greenway for more than a decade and consulted with community members about the project during several larger planning processes. Agnes Street was selected because it provides a direct connection between New Westminster Skytrain Station and the Victoria Hill neighborhood and Patello Bridge. This corridor also connects several community facilities, including Douglas College and Kakite Elementary School. The permanent greenway will make it easier for people to use sustainable modes of transportation, improve health by encouraging active living, and enhance the public realm and community identity. My name is Patrick Johnstone. I'm a city councillor in the city of New Westminster, British Columbia. New Westminster is um, one of the uh, oldest cities in Western Canada. It's actually an older city than Canada itself. Even though we're maybe a smaller city in the Metro Vancouver area, we were actually the original downtown of Metro Vancouver. That means a lot of things. It means that we have a lot of colonial history in the city. It means that we're um, that we're a dense and an urban city where we are completely, you know, we've been built out for more than a hundred years. That makes things like building active transportation infrastructure um, a challenge sometimes because we're not building into greenfield areas. We need to reallocate space that already is being used in order to build new infrastructure. My name is Nadine Nakagawa and I'm a city councillor in New Westminster. New Westminster is known to have a really strong community feel. We're a small town in the middle of a bigger region in Metro Vancouver, but the community is very passionate and very connected. A fun fact is in New Westminster, we like to describe ourselves as a center of Metro Vancouver, and we refer to the city of Vancouver as a suburb of New West. We went through an interesting process in building this greenway. We, what we see behind us right now is a bit of a temporary treatment. Uh, it is safe, it meets AAA standards uh, by being truly separated and by having really great treatments at the intersections. Some of the pieces we put in the ground are relatively inexpensive and put in relatively quickly. And that's given us the ability to talk with the community about what this greenway is and how it fits. I think one of the successes of this project is that we have engaged the community in a conversation, people who want to use a greenway, but also people who happen to live right on the greenway and don't see a personal benefit to them. We were able to hear their concerns and we were able to make, make adaptations to the greenway um, after hearing those concerns in order to make sure that it works for as many people as possible. Hi, I'm Laura Kwong. I am a New Westminster resident. I have children who attend Akolka Kite Elementary and the daycare located at the school. And I am also the chair of the Parents Advisory Council, the PAC. For kids at the school, it definitely makes cycling and alternative transportation options more accessible. This is, as you can see, a busy street, even though it's not a major arterial street. For kids to feel safe getting to school on their bike, I think it means a lot. And for parents to be able to know that their kids are going to have a safe route to school, um, the cycling infrastructure is, is well designed. And the school is K to five, you've got some young ones, but for little kids to be able to start riding their bikes to school, I think it's fantastic. In New Westminster, because we are so transit connected and because we're a small municipality, a lot of people don't have cars and can't afford cars in the city. So having access to pedestrian spaces and uh, cycling spaces allows more people to get around safely in ways that work for them. My name is Mary Wilson and I'm a active resident of New Westminster and um, I'm a founding member of the New Westminster Walkers Caucus. Now, the Walkers Caucus is an advocacy group for those of us who get around the city on foot. This is a city, it's not a freeway and, and, we, and we, can't, we can't continue to make cars such a priority. We need to do as much as we possibly can to promote equity for other modes of transportation, particularly people on foot. Hi, I'm Dave Taylor. I'm the Vice President of Public Affairs at Douglas College. Every city needs to have a really good transportation infrastructure. And for the city to invest in an important one like this that allows for bicycling, multimodal transportation, walking, e-bikes, that kind of thing, it's an important step to increase mobility because mobility adds to economic mobility, it creates social mobility and lots of opportunities for the community as well as the surrounding region.
Well, we declared a climate emergency in 2019, and part of our plan is to, to support sustainable transportation, active transportation, and with a strong disability justice lens. So that means making more cycling routes and making sure that our pedestrian routes are safe. And that includes everything from sidewalks that are accessible to making sure that we have seating along the way for elders and people with mobility issues, making sure that we have trees planted along greenways, um, but more than anything, making sure that those routes are safe. Hello, everyone. My name is Antonia Reynolds and I'm the Active Transportation Coordinator at the City of New Westminster. I've been in my role for about eight years and it's my job to ensure our sustainability goals get met. That goal is to have 60% of all trips within the city made by alternative modes by the year 2030. The other thing I'm really happy about with the Agnes Street Greenway is it's actually a key part um, of our 2019 to 2022 strategic plan for the city and also our seven bold steps that are aimed at reducing the impact of climate change. I'm Mitchell Reardon. I'm a senior planner at Happy City, an urban planning and design consultancy looking to build healthy, happier and more inclusive communities. So Happy City has been contracted to conduct creative engagement along the Agnes Greenway. We're working with our partners at the city and urban systems to uh, help activate the Greenway. Um, so we've been tasked with doing engagement to help draw people to this space and help put their own fingerprints on it. Um, so we focused a lot on working with children, given that this uh, Greenway is right across the street from a school. Um, we're looking to get some ownership among uh, students of the school and kids in the neighborhood. Uh, we've also been recognizing that this has been a pretty tough year where uh, a lot of families are looking for free activities, things to, to be able to get out of the house uh, and just participate. So we're looking to generate some value for people just to come here so they can come and do some art. We're going to ask them a few questions along the way. You know, we're interested in their responses. They're getting this great value out of it. Hi, my name is Cherry Hasami. I'm an urbanist on the Happy City team. Today we are at Agnes Street Greenway. We're hosting a pop-up event called Fresh. So our theme is fresh food, fresh air, and art, like what's happening behind me. We're doing the art on the barrier behind me. We also have some cutouts that we're installing along the bollards along this side of the Greenway. Um, again, really an opportunity to get the kids out to release their artists within and decorate the Greenway so they can feel a sense of ownership and excitement when they walk through the streets. An event like this is important because we want to give people who live near the Greenway the opportunity to sort of feel a sense of ownership and attachment to the space. So, you know, the city puts down this design, but the residents are the ones who are going to be using it. So we want to hear from them what they want to see and how they want to sort of see the space evolve as this is an interim design. Um, and getting art involved is kind of a fun way to, especially with kids, kind of feel like they can decorate and, and see their art as they walk by. So it really creates that sense of community in a place that, you know, we've heard otherwise isn't really utilized too, too much. So we're hoping to bring more attention to the area and give people more of a reason to be here as well and actually benefit from the Greenway. One of the challenges we had in New Westminster, of course, is trying to uh, find a route from downtown to uptown that scaled the big hills that, that New Westminster is built on. But it's also important that we connect to really important destinations that have an opportunity for people to use active transportation to get to, like an elementary school, like Douglas College, like our SkyTrain in downtown. Well, some of the biggest challenges with bringing this project to reality were um, the fact that it is a major piece of infrastructure, so there's some long-range budgeting that had to be done to accommodate it. In addition to that, it's a highly residential neighbourhood where people would need to have a say on what changes are made. So we had a long engagement process that we had to follow as well. There's something special happening in New West, I think, these days. Over the last few years, we've seen a growing commitment to active transportation for walking, rolling, and cycling. We see a mayor and council that is really dedicated to uh, advancing these uh, key issues. It's closely tied into the Climate Emergency Response Plan and New West's Seven Bold Steps. And I think that gives a lot of clarity for staff because we see this focus from the decision makers through staff that there must be internal support to do these type of things because in a lot of places when we get a no to try something new it's because the the staff member we're speaking with is scared that if something goes wrong they're going to be you know in trouble for it and here there is the there has to be this support to to try new things and to say like if it doesn't work out that's okay like we had to try to see how that was going to work 
we're just seeing a far higher degree of, of willingness to do these things here than we are in other metro van municipalities.